Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Weaves. What's up, folks? In the last video, I started talking about the table layout. If you guys remember, in this video, I'm going to discuss some important attributes of the table layout, starting with the stretch and shrink columns. Now, let us see why we need them and what we do with them and how we can actually use them in our program. So, here, what happens is sometimes you have your Android table layout stuff, you place contents inside them, but the size of the column is always equal to the size of the view which is inside it. Sometimes you want to change that. Sometimes you want to make certain things look bigger. Sometimes you want to make sure that everything has equal width in terms of column size. So for that, we are going to use some attributes over here starting with this stretch columns. So what does this do? Stretch columns. This is the Android stretch columns attribute inside your XML. All right. You apply it to the table layout inside your XML. What does it do? It either stretches one column or a set of columns or all the columns. Now remember very well, this is just like arrays. The column numbers start with zero. So what values can it have? It can have values something like this. You can say Android stretch columns is zero. In that case, it will stretch the first column. And when you say Android stretch columns is one comma two, it is going to stretch the second and the third column equally. And when you say star, then it's going to stretch all the columns equally. Now let's see how this looks. I have to code something like this. I say Android stretch columns is zero. As you guys can notice over here, my first column, which is column one, gets stretched. And column two and column three just take up as much space as the content inside. And then when I say a stretch columns equals to one, you can see that my second column, which is column number two, gets stretched. Now remember, this is column, this is the index number zero. This is index number one. This is index number two and so on, right? So when I say one, it's going to actually stretch the second one. And then if I say stretch columns equals to star, all the columns are equally stretched and this can be seen clearly with the space in between two columns right so this is what your android stretch columns does sometimes you just want to do the opposite of what you did just now for example there may be a view which is taking more space than what you need so in that case you'll have to actually do the reverse which is you have to shrink the columns and for that what we have is this android shrink columns attribute inside our xml we apply that to the stable layout in xml what does it do remove unnecessary extra space from a column and shrink it remember again the column indexes start with zero over here just like your arrays in java or c plus plus then what you have is android shrink columns is zero that's going to shrink the first column from uh, taking extra space so let's actually go to the code and see how this looks here if you guys take a look First, let me show you the effect of not using shrink columns and why we need to use it. Now take a look what I have done. I have nothing great over here. There is a table layout inside which there is a table row. And what I have is I have this text view 1 and 2 which is column 1, column 3. And then there is this edit text which is having a EM, EMs of 10. All right. And then you have the other table row inside which there is another text view which is called column 1 over here. Right. And then there is another edit text. Now as you guys can notice over here this edit text over here takes way too much space because this other edit text is barely seen on the screen right and this is not good for user experience so what we need to do is we need to make sure that the second column over here does not take so much space we need to reduce the space on it for that we are going to use shrink columns attribute so let's go and see how that is used so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to have my table layout and here i'm going to use this attribute android shrink columns inside my table layout now what i need to tell this is which column I should shrink for that I've written one over here one means the second column you guys remember that right because zero is the first column one is the second column so this column is shrink as you guys can see now the edit text is only taking very less space right but as you guys can see there's a new problem this third edit text which we have is taking too much space now this is making things look very ugly and this text is also overlapping right for that how can we work around is we can do something very simple we can say shrink columns one comma two and what that will do is shrink the first column and i mean the second column and the third column equally so that both the edit text look good on the screen right and this is how you can use shrink columns in your code so i hope you guys have understood something out of this video if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts catch me also on facebook i would love to hear your thoughts over there thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later have a nice day